This is K Rider Geek Nation News, and this will be doing another DC figure review. So let's get started. Henshin. Hey everybody, so this is Mr. Bushido, and this week we're going to be doing the DC Icon Rebirth Flash figure. And this is actually from a seven, from a actually a seven collect, well, a seven pack of all the rebirths of uh, from Superman to the Green Lantern to Wonder Woman to, you know, the Flash. Uh, but I did not want to get the whole set. I just wanted to get individually figures and that was just the flash and hoping someday I'll get Superman Rebirth. Well, DC Collectibles already came out technically with four or five different versions of this flash figure. So, but this for me is so far the most one for me accurate to the comic books. I really do like how they really scope the face of this flash. It's really nice. All right, so let's test the articulation now. It's pretty much the arm right there. You can put him up and down. Um, you can actually turn him to the side, uh, but I do warn you his uh, his muscle kind of makes him not to bend all the way But it's still pretty okay for me his hand does turn right around It's kind of stiff and that I you get that from any brand new figures You have to you know just over time it would loosen up, but also be careful because you could break him um, But yeah, it, it's simple simple it's pretty much the same thing in the other arm you can bend him all the way around um, he has two joints for to bend his stomach and his hip uh, But I noticed that the top part kind of um, blocks of his muscle a little bit But right there, but pretty much it's still okay uh, Just a little bit that bugs me a little bit his leg He can bend him you can not bend him for all the way he could bend to the side um, So he can't really kick he can kick to the side I hated that part which they actually kind of and also right there You kind of scrape the paint right there his legs to pretty much bend almost all the way you can see right there the little still gap area. Um, Anko Povich pretty much turn all the way and uh, bend up and down. That's I love that. Uh, and pretty much the same thing with the other side of the legs. You can pretty much do the same thing, bend all the way, pretty much all of that. Um, so his head, you can much turn him to the sides, but you cannot turn him up or down. That's the only thing I noticed about this figure. Uh, as you can see. I try turning him up and he can't just just a little inch but not so much um, but in the end I, I, I got it because of it was more accurate to the comic book version compared to the other flash figures I've seen out there it's the closest accurate one for me so let's get a better look on the face so like I said uh, to me I really like how they sculpted his face it really captured like the comic book version I really do like it it really is a nice really nice scope how they did the face love it let's do a size comparison so here's right next to the 52 uh, Green Lantern and you can tell the Green Lantern is bigger than the flash um, so let's actually do another size comparison next to the DC collectible WB reverse flash as you can tell he's still pretty short and you know the reverse flash is pretty big so I'm guessing all the way from that line are shorter compared to the other lines of the DC collectibles but I, I don't mind, you know, I'm not gonna do a size comparison. I just have to get a reverse flash So in the end, it's a really nice figure. I really do like it. Uh, I didn't get it for its uh, articulation I actually got it because of the way it looked the way it captured from the Rebirth flash and they really did a good job with this flash when it came to the scope I really did like the design to me They really captured the flash from the comic books that I seen from the rebirth and I really like of all the flashes I see and this is just me I know that people would prefer other li nicer figure of the flash but for me I really really like this flash they really did a good um, scope of, of his face and I really dig the whole paint design and everything the only thing I have a complaint is the the articulation was not that quite good but it's okay because again I got it more for the the scope of the, how he looked he they really did capture for me the flash and I'm happy that I got this. Now, Sally, if you want this figure, you have to buy the seven pack, and that costs usually like a hundred and up. Yikes, that's pretty expensive. Now, I got mine on on eBay for about twenty eight dollars because a seller, a person, individual, I guess, selling their all their rebirth figures. So there's still a chance you can get you can get it like that because I seen a bunch of people selling it individually but if you want to get the whole set you are gonna about to spend like a hundred a hundred dollars to 130 dollars or maybe 80 or 90 dollars depending on what you, where, where you buy it from so i hope you enjoyed this this is mr bushido signing out ik writer ignition news goodbye to world